Hello, hi, welcome back to more Roguebook. It is I, Cranberry. Um, I'm gonna do my best to uh, cut this video about halfway through, probably. It's looking like, for me, Roguebook runs are taking about an hour and 40 minutes, so... I'll try to cut it maybe right before the second boss. Although, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, <clears throat> not entirely certain. So, who... I think, I think the last run, who, who, who did I play on the last run? I think, I think it was Turtle and Rat. Let's go, let's go with, let's go with OGs. Oh, let's go with, let's go with Sword and uh, Frog. Let's go, let's go, let's go Shara and, uh, and Sirocco for this one. Um, yeah, that'll be good. And I think it's about time I actually play one of these uh, enhancements. The shop doesn't seem that important, but the fact that this increases the price of card drafts is actually a pretty big deal, I feel like. But hopefully the idea is that the the fairies make up for it. Let's take let's take fairy hunting. Let's see if we can actually win a run using that. We'll see. Um But yeah, so I, I asked people last episode, you know, <laughs> hey, was it too long? And the general consensus was like, sort of. Some people didn't care. Some people were like, it's kind of a bit much. You ready, so I'm going guy? I'm going to try to... Ooh, yo. Bonus money. I'm going to try to remember to cut down the video a bit. <laughs> we'll see how successful I am. I, I don't mind just starting with a yak hide. That seems like it's pretty good. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Start your next turn. Draw two Shara cards. Gain two... Move Shara to the front. It's a much better preparation. If we're evaluating these cards based on how good they are in Slay the Spire, this is a much better version of preparation. That being said, though, I still don't think it's that good. It's definitely not worth buying, I feel like, on this one. So, I don't know. I had a really cool deck. I was I was off off recording, off stream, off everything. I just played it, played it myself just to get a better feel for the game. I had a really cool deck that used Warcry. I had the uh, the one uh, perk, whatever you want to call him, that was uh, unceasing top. The whenever your hand is empty, draw a card. The cards like Warcry, and it were really good because you you just play them for free and then keep drawing more cards. Each hit inflicts two bleed. I, is, there, is there a is there a big multi hit in here? Volley. Attack a random enemy for one. Attack again for each power. Uh, uh, Soroko has. Could be could be good in theory. But we need to buy the card first, and we need to make a run that actually gives uh, Soroko some power. So we'll, we'll we'll wait on that for a little while. Let's just do the first battle. We'll be we'll be fine. Oh, also I, I I should check too. So I have I have some of the perks that replace your starting attacks and defense. Let me let me let me play the game. Thank you. What did we actually get? So we got we had bravery swapped out. What else do we have? Is that it? Hmm. Maybe I only have one for an attack. I thought I had one for one attack and one defend, but I could be... I'm starting to think I might actually be wrong. Get the courage for next turn. That guy's trying to hurt me. Take a little bit. Nothing crazy. And then we just need to wrap this up real quick. Okay. I get that precision, not precious ink, precision ink. Let's take a look. Okay, we got a heart over there. One, two, three. Okay. Let's do this. Pop this down right here. Hit the sky tower. Hmm. I think this is worth a 30 gold, right? Probably. So this is an amazing treasure. 
Let's see what we got. That's yeah, probably worth it. What is this? Is this some sort of bag? Items at Nadim shop cost one less for each card in your deck. That's gotta be pretty not terrible. I feel like with the with the constraints on this run, you know, it seems like a, a decent enough pickup, I would say. Let's go. Let's do. Hold on. Let's like ink here and hit this. Uh, I would rather. Let's wait on that one. Let's see if we can do some more fights first. Oh, yo. Se secret fight. Was hiding behind the bush the whole time. Um, we got these little little minions. You love you love minions. Yeah, okay, I guess we have to use a. Uh, we don't have to, but I, I would prefer. Uh, let's just let's just go for as much block as possible. We could double strike and kill one of the fourteen HP guys, but I don't know. So be it. Okay, while we're in the front here, let's get a quick swipe in. Pick you off. Easy, easy full block. Alrighty, Sid. Oh, okay, okay. Let's lunge. It takes a, a teensy bit of damage. Take six, that's no big deal. Where'd they come from? Back to the bravery. This is this is all acceptable. We have the the heals. It's good, to, you know. If it's, if it's not obvious, it's good to kind of spread damage out between your two your two uh, heroes, because then you get to uh, hold on. Um, maybe should have braveried there first. Actually, now I'm looking at it. But this is still okay. But you want to spread damage after the the healing item heals both your champions, so you want to you know maximize the the usage of it. Kill you, and there you go. Problem solved. Some more ink. Just toss this right on up here. Hello, Seed Sower. How you doing? Um. Yeah, we'll do Bravery just for the Courage next turn. Uh, you know what? I should, I should buy some more cards. I think I, I'm not realizing our starting deck is pretty weak. We could use a little, a little pizzazz in it, I think. Okay. Oh nope! I I was I I promise you I was trying to grab a quick strike there. Yeah, so that's a big damage loss. That is unfortunate. Uh, that's bravery. Should be able to kill him next turn, unless we have like an abysmal draw. But even then, if it's all blocked, we should be able to full block, in theory. So yeah, we're good. No problem. Ooh, a, a Stardust Pigment, very good. 
So in my experience, you want to put Ogre's Belt and things like this on uh, Soroko. He's got a lot of two-cost spells this that have blocks, so it puts him in the front anyway. Theory. It just makes more sense on him, I feel like. Um, let's open some of these vaults and get some actual cards. Like, boom, buckle up. Exactly. This is exactly, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, dual. It's a better version of the other one. Whatever the, the lunge, whatever it's called. What is it? Lunge, yeah, it's just a better version. Although I guess, oh no, actually, this is this is only leading enemies, so I don't know, debatable. Uh, I'll take a buckle up though. Buckle up is fine. Um, wouldn't hate. Maybe can I, can I come down here? Wouldn't hate maybe hitting something like this. That reveals a lot of space. Yeah, I like that. Oh, we get a gem. I'll take the golden sphere, but before we... But let's see what else we can find here. Maybe we can find a good kill spell to put it on. Uh... Slam is not very good right now, but it can be good. I'll take it. It's got potential. For sure. Let's see what else we got here. More buckle ups. I like I like uh, repost as well. Weird though that you know I've just noticed that the art for this card is not really a repost. Like a repost is like a like a counter attack thing. Like you block, you parry, and attack. This is cutting an arrow in half. I feel like that's not accurate art. But you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. Um, I think I like it here over the other two. I think it's fine. That daggers daggers works well with the with the the slam plan. Same idea with think twice as well. Let me get a talent up. What do we got here? Um, I don't know if we're playing an ally deck yet. Courageous is just good. It's just for the first three turns by default we have extra energy. So yeah. That's an easy pickup, in my book at least. Let's go do this fight down here. We have to kill him the bowman next time. We'll see. Yeah, no, no slams today, though, unfortunately. Six and five, okay. Oh, he's been tripped. Oh, no. We full blocking? Not quite. Although he get with the with the fortifying brew, he is actually full blocking. Um, let's start let's start killing. And I'll say I'll try to save the dagger for when she's in front and or when we have slam. There's slam. So I was, I was watching Voyix play this game last night. He's been streaming it a bit uh, over at twitch.television.com slash Voyix69. And um, he was talking a lot about how the game was slow. Like, the, there was no speed options for, like, how fast animations happened and things like that. And at first, I was like, I don't know. It doesn't seem that bad. And now that I've played it for a little while, I'm like, actually, it is kind of bad. <laughs> it, it does take a long time to do things. And I do wish it was at least a little bit faster. But, not a huge deal. Just a little annoying. Pray to the idol. Oh, transmute. I would love the transmute card. Please, please, please. Let me transmute. 
Uh, probably a, a Sirocco uh, strike is the way to go. Let's do that. Hmm. Couple of good choices here. Here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking things like... Uh, oh, I'm thinking Shadow Gem or Raw Ruby. I don't think the Rough Diamond here is that good. Um, I'm thinking Ruby on Impact makes a lot of sense. A flat 3 damage that makes that 15 and 9. Seems pretty strong to me. Uh, I can also see Shadow Gem on either Impact or on Teamwork. I think I like it a little bit more on Teamwork, honestly. Let's do, let's do that. That seems like a very strong spell to me. A, a zero cost, uh, ten block. In, in theory, that, that seems like just... I wouldn't say ludicrously strong, that seems very good. Okay, let's see. Did I even look at the shop? I don't remember. I feel like I did and then just entirely just forgot about what was in here. Yeah, okay, I, I remember this now. Yak hide... Whenever you play a melee card, we have no melee cards. 30 shell seems pretty good. If we can afford it, I would like it. We'll see how we're doing money-wise after we kill all the gold fairies. Let's do these con- oh, let's, let's do- let's do a vault here. Do I want to pay 40 gold to potentially make money later? I don't think so, really. Let's keep going with the, with the dagger theme. I haven't really gotten like a dagger deck to do much for me. I would like to see it. Exotic pet. Hmm. A little expensive. If we're doing daggers. Fire oil makes sense, right? We just put fire oil on Shara and she throws 20 daggers and wins. Let's, let's give that a try. It really, it's a really expensive inflame, but we'll see if it's if if, if, if if maybe inflame in this game is busted, right? Who knows? Now we could put the golden sphere on slam. I don't think it's a strong enough finisher. I think we want it on like an AOE spell or like a nuke. And slam's not really either. It's it's just solid value in theory, right? But it's not like you know, there's, there's like spells that can pretty easily get to like hundreds of damage, I've noticed in this game so far. Or at least like 100 damage. So I don't think Slam's the card we want. And like you can do cool things with Slam where you like, there's like the one, uh, I think it's the Shaman ally. Where you like, you just get, you get the last card you played so you can get Slam down to zero. Play it, bring it back, play it, bring it back, so on and so forth. I think that's a better, that's a better use of Slam, so I don't want it to be dissolved. We're applying all the blocks today, it looks like. Hold on. Yeah, you're, you're not getting me. Get a couple daggers in there. Good. Let's leave Shara in the front for now. Snatch should waking up any moment. There he goes. If we do it, it's a lot of damage, but we do get two daggers. Bashara does almost die from this. Yeah. Not not great. This is a tough combat.
full block, and we, and we were... Did we were... Oh, we, each of them reposted. What? Oh, does, does repost just put it on both of them? That's weird. Never mind. I I played it twice this time, but I guess not. Okay, they're coming. They're coming in aggro. But we we can kill. Yeah, we can do this. So we, we kill you. Yeah, we're you we're 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 fucking shit up here. Okay. Let's just slam him. There you go. Take some ink. Nice. Use a little bit of Let's HP here. And I think we'll do this fight as well. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, ghosties. Two, three. So we can play it all here. We can play everything. We can... You're the most damaging ghost. But if we block you, we get two daggers. So... If we do this... Oh, I should have I should have hit you and then slammed you. That's my bad. I, th I think I think you know killing killing two of the ghosties right off the bat. I think we were in a good spot. So I am not too stressed out about it. Um. Let's, let's strip off your uh, damage shield. Okay. Easy peasy. Who's our last boss, by the way? Oh, this guy, the weird, the weird, the weird money man. Give you the fire oil. I'll put you in front. Attacking for 12. Oh, no. Oh, we didn't draw many attacks, actually, which is a little bit of an issue, but we've got enough attacks. Actually almost spooky there. Take your explosive pigment. Okay, I think it's time to finally fight some of the wisps. think what we want to do here is something like this and then use the uh, explosive brush here. Oh, hey, what's this? What do we got? What's over there? Oh, cool. A, a pile of money. Oh, we got a page. That's nice. Thank you. Take the money. And let's fight the fairies and then hopefully power up for this elite fight we'll see oh so there's, there's a vault here too let's get the vault crystal spice this is probably not bad and we gave we gave him the ogre belt too so we get an ogre belt trigger as well yeah that's good that's that's probably not the worst thing ever um Let's start, let's start fucking bashing some fairies in. Let's kill this son of a gun right here. Cyclone Lariat. Attack rate whenever you gain block, deal 8. Okay. There we 
go. I think we're gonna kill this one. We got nine health, we got two turns to kill him. Okay, technically you do this and then you kill. Easy peasy. Yeah, I, I think this fairy thing is going to be a net benefit for us here, especially with how uh, how we played this first level. Waiting till the very end to have enough damage to make sure we kill every fairy, like, 100% is pretty cool. I think it's worth the increased shop prices if you do it, you know, if you, if you play around it accordingly. Uh, this opening turn, though, is trash. Um, but whatever. No, no big deal. Uh, we go one. No, hold on. Yeah, I think we do. Oh, here, here we go. We go. We go. Sh we can't do the fire oil first, unfortunately. But we go. We go lunge strike. We have two energy. We do buckle, and then we play whatever we hit off buckle, basically. How I'm seeing this one go. <laughs> And no slam. We're one short on slam. Unfortunate. Oh, Crystal Spice has got my back. Trust. Yo, these these kind of sucked. Um, swap me? Can you give me anything, please? Okay, well, I can't play the Crystal Spice here. Very unfortunate. Let's put you in front. Yo, I'm just not drawing anything. Goodbye, fairy. Never mind. You know, I, I talk big game. Hi, hello. Sorry, I'm back. Oh, I had to go do something real quick. Um. Okay, okay. Um So we have one more fairy to fight. Hopefully this one will give us more money. Last one was freaking broke. Oh, the crystal spice don't let me down, buddy. Oh, that's yo, that's sick as hell. Okay, you get the power. Leave, leave Shara in front. Go. We're back in the front. The bullfrog isn't even that good in this combat since it's so short, but it's nice to have. Um, we should strike. And I guess just do slam here. No matter what happens, the bullfrog kills next turn, so we're good. You'll, you get a bonus 50 for killing, okay. I wonder if that, I should have actually checked. Does that increase at higher levels? Like, in, in Act 2, will that give us more money if we kill him? I wonder. Um... So we got six hundred dollars. What do we got in here? What do you have for me? Volley. We have the fire oil. We could try to play volley, but it's expensive. It's a very, it's a four cost spell. 
We can't very reliably play that, so... I think that's a no for now, but it could be good in the future. Uh, whenever the equipped hero takes damage, gain 5 block. Um... That on Soroka, that's not bad. Could just could just take three block every turn, always, no matter who it is. I like that a little more. I like that a little bit more. I think honestly. I think we take that, and I think we will leave it there. Warcry with the slam makes sense too. It's, you know, it's another zero cost card, make it more likely. But I don't think we should like build around that really yet. And I'm a little worried about this elite. Part of me thinks that we're kind of weak right now, but I feel like we can do it. We'll see how it goes. Oh, this this lady. Gotta hit him with the crystal spice here. So even though this caused zero, we can't play it for zero, which is sad. Okay. Um. Let's slam you. You know what? Let's hammer you as well, actually. No blocking allowed today. How dare you. Fire oil. You're hitting me for nine? That's not even a big deal, dude. Um, we just passed the turn. Maybe we just got lucky, but this is like a really good combat for us, I feel like. Like the, the elite combat where it's like the, the weird uh, vor monster and he eats the guys and you kill them, that would have been a much harder one, I think. But this, we only took like the bleed damage and that was it basically. Okay. Take another brush. Now there's one more fairy well, I think. I think there's two on every floor. I am tempted to keep looking for it. They're really, they're really nice, obviously. It's nice to have them, but I don't know. I don't know if it's worth the brushes. Maybe you should probably save them for next floor. Although, you know, I, I can see maybe popping one here. Yeah, it's like 13 tiles. That seems pretty good. Okay. Not really worth it, but I don't regret the decision, I guess. Any last things from the shop here we want to buy? What do we got here? I think we go. And we'll pop a we'll pop a, a heart just to make sure we can survive this first boss. Oh, this guy. I know this guy. Made me vulnerable and you're hitting me for a ton, which is not great news. I think we do this. To this. To this. Let's see what we draw. Into this. Into this. Into that. There you go. Easy. We get two daggers for our trouble too, which is nice. What is a what is a palanquin? What is that? Shield bash. If you have a attack for eight, if you have at least ten block attack for sixteen instead. Okay. Well, hopefully we'll get there. I don't know. We'll see. We're gonna play out our whole hand here. I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, we have we have enough attack there. Yeah. <laughs> And we'll save our daggers for when Shara's in the front, so we'll just pass the turn there. 
Oh, I've just, you know, I don't know why I never realized this. We can, we can double weaken him. If we do 50 damage, we can do 25, 25, and he gets weakened twice. I don't know why I've just made that connection for the first time right now. But that is how that does work. What's this actually? Oh, that does nothing. That's, that, oh, that's the, that's the mechanic. Oh, you're still hitting me, dang. Should have should have buckled up at some point there. And we're still. I think it's still pretty obvious we're winning this fight, but whirlwind. Oh, that's great. You love to see that. Hmm. Get in there, kitty cat. Rude. Maybe this cat is better than I thought. Just like, just like, just spamming the front hero cards seems pretty good, and that also just the way the inner 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 the bleh. The way it interacts whenever you play a block, it also triggers it, which is pretty cool. Oh, also he dies. So yeah, great. Good job, everyone. Yeah, Soroko knows what this is about. He wants he wants that loot. Um, Ogre Cleaver could be really good if we got Shahar's power like insanely high, so she was just constantly hitting 20s. Um, and she's got like a bleed mechanic sort of built in, I think. Um, I, I want to see if we can get there. I want to give it a try. I don't know if we will be able to. Could be cool though. I think I like the, the the crystallized faria here. Not good on fire oil, but like on crystal spice is pretty good. Cause that that gets yeah I, I want that I I want this I'm pretty sure. Okay, what's the deal here? What do you got in the shop, bud? What are you selling? Sky, Sky Towers? That's a pretty good one. Sky Towers revealing plus one is pretty neat. Heroes having plus one power, also cool. Glass Arrow, eh. Battle Brother. Add Shara's power to this ally spirit. We're trying to get there, but I don't know. Oh, Soup? Soup? If we, you know... We give Sharos a couple a couple of doses of the ogre soup. Yo, the ogre soup with the crystal though, actually on it sounds pretty sick. I'm gonna take that and see if we can make that work for us. And we can even put a oh, okay, I got I got I got plans here. Okay, check this out. We take the blinding topaz as well. And the maybe we'll get the, the candelabra later. We come here. Mmm. I'm gonna take the stone skin. I'm just gonna make this guy beefy as hell, I think. That seems good to me. We go here. Oh, I was hoping this had I thought this had two slots in it. Never mind. It's not as good as I thought. Um Although Ogre Soup, we definitely give the uh barrier to. This works. Hundred percent. And the the spice. Opening hand every time. Um. If we, if we find a big multi-hit move, Blood Garnet would be great. Time being. 
I think I think uh, plus four block on think twice makes sense. Very well. It should hopefully be a zero cost card. So we're blocking for six for zero is a pretty good deal if you ask me. Um, let's do a draft. Um. Ah, uh, I don't. We're not really dancing too much. Bullfrog Berserker. If we had other ways to increase his power, we'd be pretty interesting, but we don't. Attack for eight. Both heroes gain two power till end of turn. I think we just skip this. Uh, yeah, I think I want to skip this. I don't think Shimmer Strike is that great for us. Keep the deck a little thin. Let's let's get a sense on how we're performing now. What do you guys got for me here? Do Crystal Spice first. Let's see what we draw. Stable Concoction. Dissolve every card you play this turn. That's cool. You're, you're dead. want these dissolved, so we'll do it like this. That's a card I did not know existed yet. That's, that's a pretty sick one. I like it. One, two, three. Come on. Oh, we discard the slam, though. Shit. That's some classic bad math right there. Not a huge deal. We take a little bit of damage, though. There's that ogre soup. Um. Are you full blocking? You're pretty close to a full block. Let's see if we get lucky on the soup. We get lucky on the soup. Hell yeah. Then, I don't know, just keep blocking. Do we just win here? Yeah. Gotta be pretty close to just winning, right? Yeah. We start chucking daggers now for 14 each. And my man here just gets unbelievably slammed. Maybe, maybe we should put the reap on slam. Yeah, I think with this current plan we got going, I think it is better. Um, we're really, we're really, we're mostly doing our damage with, uh, with, uh, Shara here. I think, I think the slam being just a finisher to get money is, a, is now how we play it. We're not really worrying about giving him power and then re and recurring the, uh, the slam over and over again. This works. Let's get some sight. Hmm. Oh, that's not a bad little space over there. Let's do this. Aw, oh, the magical Katsunes, dude. You love them. Okay, what do we got? Mountain Fist, great spell. Love Mountain Fist. this one now he's gonna be dead as shit we get that soup by the way can we get some soup no soup Tactical slam kill right there. Ooh, 
after we buckle up. We'll save the daggers for later when we have uh, Shara a bit more buff. You're hitting for a lot here, by the way, bud. I don't know if, you, if anyone told you. You're hitting for what it would be... Ar I would say arguably is too much damage. However, that's fine. Now we kill you? He, he's just very dead. What's next? Cool, 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 cool. Explosive pigment's pretty good here. That looks pretty good to me. Oh, this motherfucker. Hands off, hate, frog. hate, hate this guy. Nobody likes this guy. Piece of shit. You mean my fucking belt back? What's over there? Oh, yo, check out that. Thank you, thank you, eyeball. Story event, magic carpet. You can fly ignoring obstacles on the map. That sounds sick as hell. Oh, you only have a 25% chance? Shit. Well, Shara, Shara has less health, so her losing 25 seems like it's... Oh, it's 8. I thought, why, why I think it was 25% health? Okay, never mind. Yo, Sir, uh, Soroko, get this carpet, dude. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Give me, give me the carpet. Come on. Okay, there you go. Easy. Yo, we even get a little carpet. It, it won't let me go here, though. Because that apparently... Bullshit. Um, draw a card, discard a card... You play this, add a copy to your hand with no gems. Um, hold on. Let me look at the spice card. We can just have our hand be double spice and we just play four of them. Right off the bat. That seems kind of fun to me. I want to do that. Nice one. Um... I'm trying to figure out which is better, because we want to hit this tower, too. Let's do this. It doesn't matter too much. Here, boom, boom, boom. Oh, very well. There we go. Great. Remember the quick hero blocks. Increase the game by one. Put it on Soroko. He's supposed to be the pr predominant blocker in this run. We'll see, though. See if he lives up to expectations or not. Um. Guess we go here. Hit you with the ink. Oh, we got an alchemist. That's nice to see. Let's do some battles to get some more ink. Although, we should go to the alchemist first, I think. Yeah, that makes more sense. 120 gold to transmute. I'll do it, but I'm not happy. What do you got for me? Hmm...
Charge combo. Retain range. I'm thinking we go like retain range on fire oil maybe. Or or charge combo, either one. I actually no, I think I want to go the emerald. I think I think in this deck with all the daggers and stuff, it'll be pretty easy to combo into the fire oil. Um Shaman's interesting too. Shaman's kinda cool. But I don't think it's that useful. Shiny. Okay, let's do the fight. Yeah, stop giving me hammer time, dude. I don't want it. Let's keep playing the Crystal Spice. Eventually it'll give us a- Stop giving me hammer time! It won't. Really not- You couldn't give me shoot him up again? Cool. Whatever. Get these out of here. To buckle my shoe. Trust me, once Shara starts hitting, hitting big slammers on this run, the Ogre Cleaver play is going to be sick as hell. And we're getting close to being able to do it. Very excited for when it actually pays off. Assuming it ever does. We'll, you know, we'll see. Yeah. Oh, uh, we have an aura weakness here. Oh, well. No, 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 uh, money for us, I guess. Okay, hey, let's, let's just keep you prepped for death. Let's try not to actually kill you here. Now I made fun of it, but like, yo. Hammer time? Or she might like try to attack right away after we killed your friend. Oh, you're pissed though. You are not happy about the recent uh, passing of your friend. Um, do I trust Crystal Spice to get us a card? I don't know. See, we draw off this. That's not great. Uh, let's try again. Crystal Spice, please give me an attacking card. Okay, you know what? <laughs> This counts. That does, in fact, count. That is the five damage we needed. Thank you very much, Crystal Spice. Cool, cool, cool. Um, let me check one thing. Uh, you know what? I think this is actually a pretty good place to stop the recording. Um, and There's a bit of a pause there, so I don't have a great sense of how long it was. Oh, get me out of here. I don't have a great sense of how long the recording will actually be, but this is pretty close to, I think, the, the target window I want to shoot for for these episodes. I know, let, let's kill the... Let's, let, oh, I mean, you know what? No, let's just end it there. Let's just end it there. That's, that's good. Uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed this. 
you know, come back next time for the climactic conclusion to this run. Thank you and goodbye.